Hang on. Don't go bad, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> it has been a minute. Since I saw you guys last. I don't really eat lollipops very much. I gotta figure out how to talk to you and eat this at the same time. Um. Yeah, wow, my last video. I mean, my last video where I actually talked to you guys was like February. And it's August. Oops. Um, but there's good reason for that. <laughs> also, I tell myself. I want to say a big thank you to everybody who has been leaving comments and checking up on me. I really appreciate it. It's nice to know that even though I go away for long periods of time, uh, you guys still hang out. So thanks for being here. This year, um, This is like a weight loss lollipop. Um, it's got fenugreek in it, um, which is meant to help you uh, feel full or something. And I have a snacking problem, so I thought that that would be a good product to buy. <laughs> and they're sugar free, and they're made from isomalt. Supposedly tooth friendly, which is kind of cool. Anyway, I digress. So, yeah, so I last spoke to you guys basically on holiday, I think. <laughs> that seems like a very distant memory at this point. I would fucking kill for a holiday. Should have made a list of top points, things to go over. over. I'm gonna totally lose my train of thought. Um, so what's happened? We got a dog in March. And I actually have my bag here and I can show you her. Ellie is her name, and we've had her for nearly six months, I guess. Um, she's a rescue. She's nearly four, I think. Um, we don't know that that much about her background. Um, But yeah, she's from New South Wales, which is the state above this one. So she's come a long way. She's travelled a long way. But, um, yeah, she's a, a fat little couch potato like everybody else that lives here. So she's fit in pretty well. She's going through a bit of a phase at the moment. She, keep, she keeps peeing on the floor. She kind of goes through phases where she'll do that. Um which is kind of annoying, uh, more annoying for my boyfriend because he kind of always ends up being the one that cleans it up because <laughs> he's always the one that finds it <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's a bitch, we love her uh, she's called Ellie because, can you guess why? because of uh, the character from The Last of Us which is my boyfriend's favourite game So that happened, we got a dog. Um, where else? Oh, um, I can't remember if I've talked about this 
in any of my other videos. But for about two years, I had been chasing um, an ADHD diagnosis. Um, I guess like a lot of people during the pandemic, and we had some of the most lockdowns in the world here. I don't know, you're kind of forced to uh, take stock of your brain situation. Oh, that's my heater. I'll bring it in closer. Hopefully that's not too loud. Um, yeah, and during lockdown, just kind of decided to go ask some questions, lump some long overdue questions about why I am the way that I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, two years and a lot of way too much money later, I officially was diagnosed with ADHD, the inattentive type. If you don't know, there's a hyperactive type, which is the kind of cliche that most people think of. Um, more commonly seen in boys, but you can have it. Anybody can have that one. And then there's the inattentive type, which is sort of more like a daydreamer, kind of space cadet sort of person, and that's more common in girls. And that's the one that I have. So you won't find me pinging off the walls, but you may find me zoning out constantly. or moving from special interest to special interest, as you will have seen in these videos when I talk about my new favourite TV show or wanting to learn how to roll a blade. So that's been interesting, that's still kind of an ongoing journey um, in terms of figuring out how to treat it. But, um, That's been pretty cool for me, just to um, have a bit more clarity about myself, it's always good. Um, and I guess <coughs> most crucially, recently. And the thing that has been sort of dominating, not sort of, has been dominating my life in the last couple of months. Um, is the fact that my dad is sick. Um, yeah, quite sick. And where the word quite means different things in different parts of the world. Um, he was diagnosed with lung cancer uh, a couple of months ago now, two, about two months ago now, back in June. Stage four. And totally shocking for us, totally out of the blue. As a man who's 59, to been totally healthy before now. I mean, you know, the average complaint here and there, but nothing, nothing serious. And then one morning he woke up and half the one side of his face was paralysed, and he was slurred, his speech was slurred, and I thought maybe he was having a stroke or something, or. Maybe Bell's palsy. So anyway, he took himself to the hospital. Looking back now, I can't believe he drove himself. But um, basically, he spent three days in the emergency department because I'm sure, like everywhere else, our hospitals are packed tight and overwhelmed at the moment. So yeah, my dad he spent yeah three very long days in the emergency department before being moved to a ward, but um, basically they did a bunch of scans and they found that he had about a dozen different tumours throughout his body 
and that the main the main cancer started in his lungs, which makes sense. He's been a, a chain smoker for 40 years, so. Nobody could say that this was surprising, but yeah, very shocking. Very, um, very out of nowhere. And very upsetting, obviously. I might be being cavalier about it now, but it's been, it's been a roller coaster. And part of, part of the reason why I haven't been posting videos as much because I've been kind of there a lot. And when I'm not there, I'm thinking about being there. And yeah, just really trying to um, rise to the occasion and, and be there for him as much as I can. I'm, I'm not doing enough. I should do more. But um, I'm working on it because I still have to go to work every day, six days a week. So it's a work in progress. But yeah, it's been stressful. Things have been pretty crazy. Which is why I just wanted to come and sit down and hang out with you guys. But I also wanted to give you an update. Obviously I don't owe you one or anything. I don't know any of you, but... Some of you guys have been here for years. This channel is, oh by the way, <laughs> I missed my 10 year anniversary on this channel, that was back in March, um, I was going to do something, I was going to like do a live stream or something to celebrate it, but in true Opal ASMR fashion, <laughs> I let it pass me by, but feel free to wish me happy 10 years in the comments, <laughs> it's only a little bit late. Um, Where was I going with this? Yeah, so I just, you know. I'm happy sharing with you guys because I know that those of you who have stuck around this long do it because you give a shit. Or about me or about the videos that I make. And either way, that's cool. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you a a little bit of an update of what's going on with me. But I hope you guys are doing good. You can give me a little update of your lives in the comments if you want to. I read them all. I read all the comments. I don't. I know I don't respond to all of them. I'm the kind of person who I'm only going to respond if I feel like I have something of value to say. Otherwise, I'll just give it a heart or move on. Or if it's somebody being gross, I'll delete it or say something sassy in response. <laughs> and I'm already starting to feel like it's ominous because I'm eating a fucking lollipop, so some creep in the comments is going to say something. So just to get ahead of that, how about you don't? <laughs> I'm really interested. I know that's the internet, that's just what being a woman on the internet is, but Jesus. Oh, and I've... The other thing about my dad is that he's also... They're having to move house at the moment, the landlord is evicting them, which is just beyond cruel, isn't it? So I've been... I was helping pack today. Pack boxes, and I... I don't actually know what I did, but all of a sudden I was bleeding out of my finger. I think I cut it on the tape, you know, the little serrated edge on the tape as I was closing a box. But yeah, it stings. <laughs> That's my guitar playing finger. <laughs> you may be able to hear my dog snoring. <laughs> that is uh, one of the funniest things that she does. And my boyfriend snores too, so. At night, it's like a little choir. The world's shittiest choir. <laughs> I find it very hard to fall asleep at night unless the room is totally pitch black and it is silent. So, <laughs> when these two kick off, oh, it's a bit miserable. <laughs> oh my tongue yellow. A little. 
This is lemon flavoured if that wasn't obvious. The other thing that I like about these is they're really hard to bite. Because I have absolutely no patience, as you will have seen, with hard candy and lollipops and stuff. I just want to bite through them immediately. But this is all really hard. So I actually can't bite through it. Which is good, because then I'm forced to actually savour it. Which I usually never have the self-discipline to do. So I really like these. <laughs> They've done nothing for my weight loss. <laughs> but they're hard to buy. I was reading up about fenugreek. Just to sort of check what I was putting in my body. Um, one of the funny things about fenugreek. Is that if you eat enough of it consistently enough. It changes the way your body odor smells. Isn't that weird? <laughs> so... Have I shown you guys my tattoos? Have I shown you my newer tattoo? Can you see that? I'd like to get another tattoo soon. I thought it might be cute for my dad and I to get matching tattoos, but he is, as you can imagine, not feeling particularly well at the moment, so I don't think I could, in good conscience, drag him to a tattoo parlor. But at the very least, I'd like to get one for him, you know. Um, I think I also really want to get a Back to the Future tattoo. Because I've loved those movies ever since I was small. And that's as good enough of a reason to get ink permanently on me. I think I want to get the, um, it's not necessarily an original idea, but in the, I think it shows up in the second movie, maybe even the first one as well, um, Doc Brown's initial sketch of the flux capacitor, and he sketches it, what is it, on the back of a napkin or something, I don't know, he sketches it on the back of something. I think I want to get that sketch tattooed. Oh god, that band is so ugly. Sorry. <laughs> this is perhaps a bit vain, but <laughs> I also want to get a tattoo on my arm that goes over that mole. I'm quite a moly person, as you may have noticed, I'm covered in them, but for some reason, that one on my arm really bothers me. I don't know, so, I know you're not supposed to tattoo on moles, because it's a, it makes it harder to detect melanoma when you do that, but I kind of want to get an armband, something that wraps around, like encompasses it, <laughs> so I can hide it, because I really don't like it. Thankfully, I don't feel that way about the one on my face. <laughs> uh, probably would leave a worse scar getting it removed than leaving it, you know. But like I said, I'm just being vain. So let me know in the comments which of the Back to the Future films is your favourite. Controversial opinion, mine's the third. <laughs> anyway guys, just a little update from me and I will see you all again next time. Bye.